Okay, we're going to continue on the one and only Ivan. We are on page 223, the phone call. Mac is kicking a trash can across the food court when the phone rings. He answers it, red-faced and sweating. What the... He demands. He glares at me. I don't know what you're... He starts to say, but then he stops to listen. Who? Julia who? He asks. Oh, sure. George's kid. She's the one who called you? More talking. With the phone to his ear, Mac comes closer to my cage, eyeing me suspiciously. Yeah, yeah, he says. He paints. Sure. We've been selling his art for quite a while now. There was another long pause. Yeah, absolutely. It was my idea. Mac nods. A smile starts at the corner of his mouth. Photos? No problem. You want to see him in action? Come on down. Have a look. We're open 365 days a year. Can't miss us. Right off the I-95. Mac picks up the overturned trash can. Yeah, I think he'll be adding more pictures. It's a, you know, what do you call it? A work in progress. When the call is done, Mac shakes his head. Impossible, he says. An hour later, a man with a camera comes to take my picture. He's from the local paper, the one Julia called. How about you take one with me in the elephant, Mac suggests. He drapes his arm around Ruby's neck, grinning as the camera clicks. Perfect, the man says. Perfect, Mac agrees. What do you think? A star again. A photo of my billboard is on the newspaper, is in the newspaper. Mac tapes the story to onto my window. Each day, more curious people arrive. They park in front of the billboard. They point and shake their heads. They take photos. Then they come into the mall and buy my paintings. While visitors watch, I dip my hands in fresh buckets of paint. I make pictures for the gift shop and pictures to add to the billboard. Trees with birds, a newborn elephant with glittering black eyes, a squirrel, a bluebird, a worm. I even paint Bob so he will be on the billboard too. I can tell he likes the picture, although he says he didn't quite capture his distinguished nose. Every afternoon, Mac and George add to my pictures to the bill, add my pictures, wait, add my new pictures to the billboard. People slow their cars while they work. Drivers honk and wave. My gift shop pictures now cost $65 with the frame. The Ape Artist. I have new names. People call me the Ape Artist, the Primate Picasso. I have visitors from morning till night, and so does Ruby, but nothing changed for her. Every day at two, four, and seven, Ruby plods through the sawdust with Snickers on her back. Every night, she has had bad dreams. Bob, I say, I've soothed Ruby to sleep with a story. My idea isn't working. Bob opens one eye. Be patient. I'm tired of being patient, I say. Interview. The e th this evening, a man and a woman come to interview Mac and also George and Julia. The man has a large and heavy camera perched on his shoulder. He films me as I make my pictures. He films Ruby in her cage with her foot roped to the bolt on the floor. Mind if I take a look around, he asks. Mac waves a hand. Be my guest. While Mac and the woman talk, the cameraman walks through the mall. He pans his camera right and left and up and down. And when his eyes fall on the claw stick, he stops. He trains his camera on the gleaming blade and then he moves on. The early news. Mac turns on the TV. We are on the early news at five o'clock. Bob says, don't let it go to my head. There, we're, there we all are, Mac, Ruby, me, George, and Julia, the billboard, the mall, the ring, and the claw stick. Signs on sticks. In the morning, several people gather in the parking lot. They're carrying signs on sticks. The signs have words and patterns on them. One has a drawing of a gorilla cradling a baby elephant. I wish I could read. Protesters. More people with signs come today. They want Ruby to be free. Some of them even want Mac to shut down the mall. In the evening, George and Mac talk about them. Mac says they're protesting the wrong guy. He says they're going to ruin everything. He says thanks for nothing, George. Mac stomps off. George, holding his mop, watches him leave. 
He rubs his eyes. He looks worried. Dad, Julia says, looking up from her homework, you know what my favorite sign was? Hmm? George asks, which one? The one that says, elephants are people too. George gives her a tired smile. He goes back to work. His mop moves across the empty food court like a giant brush, painting a picture that no one will ever see. And here are the protest signs. What would you put on a protest sign?